Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to implement step by step the control value accessor interface in our custom file upload component. So the file upload component is a custom form control that we want to integrate with Angular forms, both template driven and reactive. For that we are having the component implement control value accessor that we have presented on the last lesson. So let's go ahead and let's implement the four methods of the control value accessor interface starting with the first one which is going to be the write value method. I'm going to collapse the on file selected method for the moment and let's add here write value. So how does this write value method work? Write value is going to get called directly by the forms API itself in order to set a given value in a given form control. So our form contains several form controls such as for example here the course type, it can also contain here the promotion start and end date and it will also contain our file upload control. So whenever the form wants to set values for its child controls, it's going to call write value in the value accessor of each form control. So here we are going to be receiving the value for the form property linked to our file upload component. Now that property is going to contain the file name. It's not going to contain the file itself that we have uploaded to the backend. Instead, it's simply going to contain the file name. Let's then save the value that we have received here in our component file name property. And with this we now have a way for the parent form to set new values in our child control. Now what we need is a communication mechanism the other way around. If our file upload component is used to upload a new file to our backend, we want to report the new value of the file from the child control back to the parent form. The way that the child form control can communicate with the parent form is via a callback. So here using the register on change method of the control value accessor interface, we are going to be passing here a function. This function is an on change callback that is going to allow us to report new values back to the parent form. So again, this method is going to get called by the forms API itself and it's not meant for us to call it directly. Here on register on change, we are going to get a callback that we are going to save here as a property of our component. Let's define here a property called on change and we could declare it here as having the type function. A callback is simply a function, so this would work great already, but we're going to take this one step further and we're going to initialize our callback member variable with the empty function value. So this is a function that does not take any arguments and that has an empty function body. This way we can call on change here in our program without triggering an error. So now our file upload component has here an onChange callback that can be used to communicate with the parent form. So whenever a file gets uploaded here in our file system using the Angular HTTP client, we are going to wait for the upload to be completed successfully. When the upload is completed, only then we are going to call onChange and report back to the parent form the new name of the file that was just uploaded. So in order to make sure that the file was correctly uploaded, we're going to listen here for an event with a particular type. If the event type is of type response, then that means that the upload has been completed. So upload progress is meant for when the file is currently uploading, for example, at 50% progress. And at the end, when the file is completely uploaded, we're going to get a single event of type response. Here, we know that the file upload has completed successfully, so we can report our new form field value back to the parent form. So here, we're going to be passing the new file name property. And here we can see that we're getting a compilation error and this is because we have defined here our onChange callback to not take any arguments. Let's go ahead and let's add here a single argument of type file name. Now all we have to do is to go back here to the register onChange implementation and we want to save this onChange callback here locally at the level of the component. 
let's assign the value received here to the onChange member variable. And with this, we have implemented everything related to the onChange callback. Let's now talk about the onTouched functionality. If you remember, with standard form controls, we have the notion of a control being touched by the user. Each control of a form is going to start in status untouched, meaning that the user has not yet tried to interact with the form control. As soon as the user tries to interact with the form control at least once, then that form control should change to the status touched. In the case of our file upload component, whenever the user tries to interact here with the upload button by opening the file upload dialog, even if the user does not upload a file and hits the cancel button, we should consider the form control as being touched. So we need somehow to report back to the parent component that the field has been touched. And for that, we need, just like in the case of the onChange callback, a new callback called register onTouched. This works in a very similar way to onChanged. We are going to receive here a callback. Let's call it onTouched. And let's define here a new member variable in our component. We're going to call it also onTouched. Let's initialize this with an empty function. Let's now save the value of the onTouched callback that we are receiving here. We are going to assign this to the onTouched member variable. Now all we have to do is to call this function whenever we want to mark our form field as touched. And if we go back here to the template, this means that we want to do that whenever we click here on the file upload button. Let's then go ahead and let's quickly refactor this click handler. Let's create here an onClick method and let's pass it a reference here to the file upload input. Let's now implement here onClick in our file upload component. So this onClick is going to take only one argument, which is going to be a reference to the file upload element. And the file upload element is an HTML input. So let's go ahead and add the correct type. So the first thing that we need to do when the file upload gets clicked is to trigger the file upload dialog. So we are going to click on the file upload input to open the file upload dialog. And it's also at this moment that we want to mark this form control as touched. So let's go ahead and let's call the onTouched callback. And this is going to report back to the parent component that this form field has been touched by the user. In order to finish the implementation of the control value accessor, the only thing that we are missing is the set disabled state callback. So each form control is going to have a Boolean state in which the control is either enabled or disabled. So let's go ahead and let's adapt the state of our component accordingly. We are going to start by creating here a disabled flag. We are going to declare this as of type Boolean and we are going to assign it the default value of false. So by default, the component is not disabled. It's enabled and ready to use. Let's now implement here our set disabled callback. We're going to save the state here of the disabled flag. Now all we have to do is to adapt our component in order to respond to a new enabled state. So going back here to the template of the component, we can see that the only way that the user can trigger a file upload is here via the upload button. So what we want to do here is to set the disabled property here and use our disabled flag. So if the control is set to disabled, the button is also going to be disabled and the user will not be able to upload a new file. And with this, we have finished the implementation of the four methods of the control value accessor interface, but that by itself is not sufficient yet for turning this custom component into a custom form control. Let's see what else is missing. Let's finish our file upload component and try it out in our next lesson.